My name is Albert, one of the co-founders at Vectorshift, and I'm super excited to talk about a new update that we've had to the Vectorshift platform. We have literally been working on this for months, and we really hope that this makes your life easier and allows you to bring AI into your company and build AI workflows that automate stuff for yourself or your customers. All right, let's head back into the no code and I'll show you some of the new updates. When you come into the pipelines page, you can go ahead and click new and create a new pipeline. This is where the bulk of the updates are. The first thing you'll notice, our pipeline builder has had a really big facelift, a big UI improvement. We hope that it makes it a much more enjoyable experience for you to work with when you're building workflows. We're gonna demo some of the changes that have been made through in our no code by building a, ch a chat with a knowledge base pipeline, just so that you can see uh, some of the mechanics of the new variable system, our new nodes, et cetera, and we'll walk through it end to end. All right. So let's go ahead and drag out an input node, right? A, a question that's coming into the pipeline will be represented by an input node. And you can see already some changes of how the input node looks. First things first, every node has a node name. You can change it, but you know it's defaulted to whatever is in here. The default for the input node here is input underscore zero. Second thing you'll notice is each node has now output fields that you have right here. So the, the input node only has one output field, the text of you know, the input node that's inputted. And you can use this output fields in downstream nodes by using uh, double curly braces, which I'm gonna show you next. So let's just say we want to pass this user message to an LLM, right? Maybe you wanna answer the question based on context from the knowledge base. You go ahead and uh, fill that in right here based on the system prompt. And say I want to designate that the question is coming from the input node. All I have to do is open the double curly braces and this opens the variable builder. The variable builder has two steps, selecting the node and selecting the output field within the node. All variables going forward in vector shift have this exact format. Double curly braces, the node name, in this case, input underscore zero dot or period, uh, the output field that you want. In this case, it's text, right? So let's go ahead and just click through it. Input underscore zero, it auto fills the dot and text with the helper text, the input of text means we want the text from the input node presented right here when the workflow runs. There we go. We've created our first variable and we really hope that this way of making variables actually makes things a lot easier for you when you're building workflows. Let's go ahead and actually create a knowledge base. Let's drag out knowledge base and let's go ahead and select a knowledge base that I just created before this video that has kind of the Apple 10K in it, just for demonstration purposes. Now we want the input node to query the knowledge base, find relevant information and send it to the large language model. So we go ahead and connect this. We auto populate the variable in this case, basically because this knowledge base node only has one in, like input field search query and the input node only has one output field, which is text. So this really own, only one thing you're probably doing. So we made your life a little bit easier by auto filling it, but we can also delete this variable and show you how to make the variables again, All right? Double curly braces, input underscore zero text. We want the user question to query the knowledge base and send the data to the LLM. Let's go ahead and do that. You said context, open the curly braces. Now we want the knowledge base and we want the chunks from the knowledge base, not the citation data, we want the chunks. There we go. So we've finished uh, the knowledge base, the LLM, the input node. Now we just have to send the LLM data to the output. And there we go. So um, I'm gonna turn on you know, stream text in the gear of this knowledge base to make sure that um, we have streaming responses as well. One thing you'll notice, we have these right bars, right hand bars on the right hand side. It might look a little bit annoying at first. We defaulted it on for now uh, so that you get used to kind of the new system of these output fields. If you want to turn it off, you can just go ahead and turn it off right here. All right, so there we go. We have the pipeline to chat with the knowledge base. You could run it right here and say, you know, what are risks Apple is facing? Click run and 
you know, start populated here. One thing you notice, our infrastructure is much faster now, and we're excited to have this blazing speed and deliver this blazing speed to your workflows as well. Uh, we can also build kind of a chat app, um, the same way to do it. Nothing has changed over there. You could deploy the workflow, go to export, chat, name your chatbot. Um, you can customize it here, export, open chat assistant. And you can say, ask whatever question you want in the chat menu. All right, so we're super excited to bring this new update to you. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, don't hesitate to, to reach out. My email is at albert at vectorshift.ai. Uh, feel free to book a demo. I'm always happy to help. Thank you very much.